Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to look at some of the old pictures that I first started taking. These date back, I think, to 2012. I think it's when I first got my camera. It was a Canon T3i. It was a Rebel. And it was with the standard kit lens. I think it was an 18 to 55 lens. So anyways, I have not seen these pictures in such a long time. So let's get to it. Let's see how horrible they are. Maybe they aren't so horrible. Uh, let's see how the framing looks, the composition. So hopefully it's not too cringeworthy. So let's take a look. All right, so this first photo, I mean, I think back then, I don't know why I was re very much into frames. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I mean, okay, that's the first thing I noticed was the frame. I think I was trying to get a shallow depth of field, so I was trying to get something in the foreground. Um, the black and white works, it just looked like it was an, a sunny day. Uh, there's no clouds in the sky, so this part down at the bottom, I probably would have cut out. Uh, all in all, it's not entirely bad, so definitely would have done something different today. So definitely added some more, maybe even do it on a cloudier day or something. So anyways, that's one of them. Let's take a look at another photo here. Okay, so this is just, I can't even explain it. I don't, I was just shooting trees, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing too exciting about this picture either. Something I think you could have shot on a phone, but it's just a standard picture. Um, nothing really to shout shout about here. I think these are all in the same location, by the way. Uh, this is a local park right here in Covina. So this is a flower, obviously, uh, that that I shot. And I think I was trying to get, again, I was trying to get something like a shallow depth of field where it's blurry in the background. Nothing too exciting here either. The colors look good. I like the colors. But I think I was just out there practicing with my camera. So let's keep going. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, that's interesting. This is one of the cemetery shots I took. I think the way I edited it was a little wrong here. I think I would have done something more in the uh, in the background. And on that side there, I, I, that kind of bothers me as well. I, I don't think that's very pleasing to me right now. The background, it's just a, a standard sky. Not another looks like another sunny day. I don't think I don't think I knew the value of shooting in golden hour at this point. I think I was just out there trying to shoot. I think at this cemetery though, they close at five, so it must have been in the summertime. So yeah, that's not a very good picture. I don't like that one. Let's take a look at another one here. This is again at the cemetery and I don't think this is I feel like this is from my phone, but I can't really tell. It looks very noisy. It looks very a lot of details are missing. Uh, there's a weird vignette um, on, on the left corner there. Not an interesting shot at all. These are not good to me at all. <laughs> okay, let's look at another one here. This is more uh, in downtown Covina. I like the clouds. I like what's going on with the clouds. I definitely would have brought some more drama into it. I think I would have uh, desaturated a little bit more to make it look a little bit more creepy. Since that's kind of my style right now anyways. I think this building is something different now. It's a good little historic photo but uh it's just a very standard photo again i think i was just playing around uh with my camera and seeing what i can capture let's take a look at another one here this is this is getting crazy here hmm okay so this one <clears throat> again same area covina the vignetting is way too much for me I, d I don't know why i did that I, I don't think i was using lightroom at that time i think i was using the whatever program it came with my canon some little disc some editing program, I, I can't remember. So the editing on this is not really great at all. It's actually really horrible. I like the building, but I think, I think I would have rather have had that building a little bit be more upfront. For me, in my eyes, I think there's too much, there's too much emptiness up here at the top. Wow, okay. Obviously I didn't know anything about white balance because this is very orange, very yellow, not a very pleasing color at all. This is inside of a, a restaurant and I think it's now an Italian place. But back then there were, it was like a little 60s kind of vintage vibe to it. And I liked it. And I think I, I think I wish I would have done a better job here as far as white balance. And then this top of the parts cut off the ice cream. I think I should have at least left that in or just completely cut it out or just crop it out. It seems a little crooked as well. Other than that, I like that I, that I got this shot of this restaurant because it's not there anymore. It's a good, picture for that reason alone. Oh my, oh my God, I don't know what I'm pulling up now. Okay, let's see. 
This reminds me of like a black metal band's logo. <laughs> it's just uh, trees that look creepy and I thought it looked creepier to put it black and white. Overall, I think, again, we're missing clouds. We're missing something in the background. And I think now if I were to shoot that same tree, I think I would back it up a little bit more or put something in the front and have that as the background. I think that's what, something I would have done differently today. Uh, but if I was just going to shoot these trees, I think I just would have picked something. Well, I mean, I only had what I had. I had the 18 millimeter it was pretty wide, but it was a crop sensor body. So it actually cropped it in a little bit more. So, um, yeah, that one's that one's not good at all either. Let me see how far do I want to go with these. Uh, let's see. I'm just randomly picking pictures here. Oh, that's a nice little flower there. Uh, wow, that's, that looks like I really cropped it in too. But yeah, nothing interesting here. <laughs> nothing interesting here at all either. I wish I would have got a little bit more uh, more interest in the flower because it's very it's not a very colorful flower. So I think if we, if I would have picked one that was yellow or red, something different besides this one. This was like a little white turning pinkish. Let's see this other one. Well, it's just a tree, tree branch. I love shooting trees, but this is like. This is not something I would ever post, just so you keep that in mind. It is it is okay looking, but it's it's just something's missing here. I don't know. It just seemed like I just fell down and just shot the tree. I was upside down and I just took a picture of it. It, does, it just doesn't look interesting to me at all. This is a picture that I don't really like, and I've, I've seen this one not recently. I had a vision for how I wanted it to look. I thought it was going to look really creepy did I really fail at that, at that part? I don't know what it was trying to do, but I remember the day I was trying to shoot this, this cross, and it stood out at the cemetery where I was shooting at. And I thought if I get really close, I can really capture something really creepy on it. And, you know, the trees that are on the side, they, they kind of bother me as well. Um, I think I should have got further back probably and got more of the, the whole cross in. And um, I didn't know anything about long exposures back then, but I think a long exposure for this one would have been great. This one is not too bad. This is um, this is actually just right here in my apartment. I think there was a, a nice sunset and I went outside and obviously you can see I have my, on the corners, the two top corners there, it's, I think it's the apartment. You can see the satellites. So that really blows that that's not, that's not good either. I mean, the, the colors in the sky look okay. They look a little noisy to me. So let's see another one here. Hmm, this looks like it's just my, at my apartment again. I think that's the moon. I was trying to get a moon shot and it looks very noisy. Very, very noisy. Not pleasing colors, very ugly. There's, I mean, you can't help the telephone lines. Uh, I think I think when you see these pic, when you see these in, in real life, they look completely different. Then you bust out your camera and you're like, what went wrong? And this is a perfect example of that, of everything going wrong here. I would Photoshop these telephone lines out these days. Or right, let's do one more. Let's do. I'm just gonna randomly pick one here. I don't know. I don't know what to pick here. There's some. There's some different ones here. Let's okay. see. I'm gonna pick one more. This is one more from the. These were all posted on Facebook, by the way, when I first started. Okay, here's an interesting one. This is when I was trying to do street photography as, at the same time, and I saw a homeless man in a Target shopping cart. And I know it's a cliche to shoot like homeless people and. And, you know, people try to do that all the time. But and I kind of, after a while, I just like, well, why am I doing that? Like, it seems like it's the like, thing to do when you first start in photography. Like, I'm going to shoot like homeless people. And I don't know. It's, I think it's kind of, it's kind of sad that he, I don't need to do that anymore. But this guy, I remember him actually, because he was always around in my area. And I one day offered him, I offered him a Thanksgiving meal that I made here at the apartment. Me and my daughter made a few plates for homeless people. We went around the neighborhood and I remember him specifically being very rude to me because I had given him a Thanksgiving dinner and he goes, no, 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 don't give me that. Don't give me anything. He threw it back at me. And I was like, oh my God. I mean, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was actually trying to help people around that time at Thanksgiving. So this must have been around 2012, 13. Anyways, I don't see the guy anymore. But before that, I had remember him. So I saw, saw this, saw him sleeping on this cart, and I decided to take a picture. And I remember running across the street. I was like, "Oh man, this guy, he's asleep. I hope he's not dead." So I snapped a picture. And I quickly ran. I don't think he woke up. I don't. I don't have a silent shutter on my camera. I still don't have a silent shutter on my camera. So, but yeah, that's the story behind this picture here. So, anyways, 
that was kind of fun to watch. Some of these first few pictures that I used to take back in the old days. Well, let me know what you guys thought. I mean, did you think that was cool? What did you think of some of the pictures? Um, I only had a story of a couple of them because I kind of remember those, but, but yeah, it just goes to show you, you know, you keep at it, you keep working on your photography and you're always gonna improve if you just go out there and shoot. And that's what I was doing at the time. I was just shooting all the time, just taking my camera and finding out if I like street photography, which I do like street photography, but I just haven't done it in such a long time. And uh, these days, you know, I'm doing more portraits. And while we're isolated right now, I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit more products, product photography as well, and uh, just doing more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.